This is a warning for you. You can continue. These are the full steps of how you can reapply liquid metal, but beware, the results might not be up to your expectations. Before you open up your device, there is another video that I would like you guys to check out after this video to make up your own mind if this is something that you're looking for. The only way I can recommend you doing this is if you absolutely have to like that liquid metal. You know, it dries up in time and you actually have to go in there and fix it. So that is only the one case that I can think of. Otherwise, if it's not broke, let it be. Don't fix it because this can be a whole can of worms that you don't want to go and open up. Another thing I want to address in this video, if you want to clean the liquid metal off your old device, then you have to use some sort of alcohol wipes because that's the only way that you can actually remove it uh, very efficiently. There are some included in the kit from Thermal Grizzly. I don't know about other kits, but if you have some alcohol laying around, definitely use some wipes and that, some of that alcohol to rub it off because otherwise it's going to be really complicated. Those, those cotton swabs, they're only for spreading it around. All right, be safe. Don't spill it on any other electrical components and Godspeed. All right, so here's the star of the show right here. This is the conductor knot, uh, the ultra high performance liquid metal compound. Okay, so this is what we get with it in the pack. You have your one gram syringe right here with the tip. So this is your applicator tip right here. Uh, there you go. This is the syringe, one gram application here and a bunch of uh, cotton swabs. And another way to basically, another tip to attach in order to, for you to remove some of that uh, compound from the CPU if you add it too much. So let's start by removing all the screws. Mind you, you have some hidden screws right here. All right, like the ones here. So let's remove these pads. All right, these pads have to come off. There we go. Let's put them aside. And basically, you have all these screws running around, plus this one in the middle, and then you can remove this here back uh, plate of the laptop. Nothing really complicated. There's nothing underneath these pads here. So things are pretty simple. I'm gonna use the plastic spudger to start prying from the top right corners here. This is the bottom of the laptop. And now I'm going to start by disconnecting the battery from the device. So this is the battery connector right here that we have to take off. We have to just pry this connector up gently and that's the way to go. Nothing really complicated there. You don't have to pull on anything and it should be just minimal resistance. And just like that, you have disconnected the battery from this device before you can actually continue. Now, we have a bunch of screws. Mind the numbers that you can see here. One, two, three, and four. While on this one, there doesn't seem to be any sort of numbering, but it's also a good practice to keep them in a cross pattern as well whenever you are taking them apart. And you can see the good craftsmanship in the Asus products right here. There we go. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. Just gently prying to see if there's any resistance somewhere. There should be some uh, thermal putty that, uh, well, it's gonna be, you know, putting up some resistance. That's a bit normal. Let's see if there's anything we can move it from here. It seems like we can. Let's try and lift up on it from both sides. Okay, so it seems to be going. All right. Huh. Okay. If you're getting anything out of this video, do me a solid, maybe hit a like or subscribe, even leave me down your comments in the box below. All right. So this is what we are working with. Apparently the liquid metal goes only on the APU. So as you can see, we have the AMD Ryzen AI 9HX CPU APU combo in there. And there seems to be, well, just a little bit of spillover from the factory. 
that wasn't like that for me and I don't know what you guys make of this coverage but it seems like uh, there are obviously spots where they've missed a bit or maybe it's not a very good application in my opinion anyway you can leave me down your comments in the box below but definitely there is well something here I wasn't actually expecting <laughs> to find uh, the thermal paste and uh, well liquid metal application combo right here basically you're getting thermal paste for your, C your GPU right here so this is your Nvidia GPU and only liquid metal for your APU <sighs> okay unfortunately on the heatsink itself you can see this is the well that uh, padding that goes in around to basically you know help save everything else from the uh, dreaded liquid metal application so I won't be able to use liquid metal with the GPU because there's no protection for that so I'm gonna remove the thermal paste and also going to be well replacing the thermal paste with something from cryonaut that I have laying on hand right there and yeah I'll clean up this liquid metal here and apply the conductor knot for the APU combo and see if we're gonna drop those temps down by a whole lot anyway obviously this is a cost cutting measure from Asus once again so this laptop is the laptop that keeps on giving because I would expect if you go liquid metal on the APU why wouldn't you go on the GPU come on Asus how much are you really saving yeah anyway um, a bit disappointed to see this but it is what it is so we'll have to fix it I needed the help of these wet wipes that come included in the kit from their bower so they're really nice and after everything is clean, I can move on now and clean the GPU, which, uh, well, seen some spillage, but it's not liquid metal, so that's fine. So let's go ahead and clean that as well. And also use the best thermal paste that I have, which is the cryonaut, and replace that thermal paste as well. And So now I can say that I'm happy with the way that these, uh, this turned out, so this is really clean. They've actually used quite a lot of compound, a lot of liquid metal there, but it's not really the best liquid metal, as I know the applications from the factory, they don't really use the high-end stuff. So um, yeah, this is removed really nicely. All right, so after all that's said and done, this is how it looks. It's clean, both on the APU side, on the GPU side as well, and also it's quite clean over here. So as you can see, this is the GPU side, and this is the APU side. They're all ready now to be um, thermally pasted and uh, well, liquid metally applied, if I may say so. So let's get to town, because I can barely wait to see if this has any effect. Okay, that's it. We have the drop. Now let's use the cotton drop to basically spread it around. Little bit of this just goes a long, long way for sure. That's about it here. Alright, now let's apply some minimal amount of uh, this thing here. Okay, I think that's a little bit too much. Let's try 
try and spread it around and see. Let's just see if there's any dripping itch. No drippage, it's good. Center it on the holes there. And okay. That's it. It's in place now. All right, so now it is in place. Well, let's go to town and tighten everything back up. So let's start off with number one here. Phew, that's it. The hard part is done. These are fixed down in place. These are, well, there's nothing holding them here, but it is what it is. This is the design that Asus went with. And yeah, let's clean off this little fan and this little fan here, and we're good to go and try this puppy out. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. Maybe consider hitting up that subscribe and maybe leave your comments. Tell me how your experience was after all. And uh, if you haven't bothered checking the most important video, in my opinion, then you can definitely do so right here before you open up your device and, well, you know, be the judge of your own situation. Should you or should you not consider continuing with this? Until the next one, guys, stay frosty. See you around and thank you so much for choosing to watch another Tech Fusion video. Bye bye.